Uh, let's move on to some of our questions uh, from the Range of Motion Individualised Programming Athletes. Question from Pekka, Pekka trains out of Singapore. He says, great opportunity to ask you a question. Uh, if I, I have two questions. Most importantly, how do you manage balance, training, work, family, recovery? I know we've touched on this already. Do you have anything to add? Um, I think that that's, um, I think I've had to just accept that, I mean, I know some people train and their training is very organized and they'll be, these are my times, this is my warm up, this is my recovery, this is the time I leave the gym. I've just had to accept that my life is pretty chaotic mm. and some days I literally finish a hard workout and I grab my bag because I've got to go get the girls from school. I have no choice. I have to leave. Recovery then has to wait until 8 o'clock at night. Mm. By the time I've fed the kids, dropped them at school and got them into bed and then I'll have a stretch and worry about myself, which isn't great, but it's just that's just the way it rolls. Mm. So I've just had to become... I think for balance, I've had to become flexible. Yeah. Um, I mean, we had an au pair last year, actually, like a full-time nanny. Um, that was a big help, wasn't it? Which was a big help, but I was working a lot more as well last year. And so my husband's job's been a little unreliable for a couple of years, so I, I've had to work as much as I could Man, too. am I right? <laughs> but now he's not in that position, so I've taken a back seat this last year, and that's actually been much better for me because I've had a lot more time. But previously, yeah, I think I've just had to get that balance because I do hate it when I don't see the girls and it makes me quite sad so it's, I have to see them before they go to bed or mm. I could get home and cry because I'm like what's the point like I don't see them so I really so do you think seeing the girls and spending time with them makes you a better athlete yeah it just makes me happy mm. so like if I didn't see them I hate if I don't see them before they go to bed it, it genuinely makes me feel sad so I have to get home and actually Nathan, my husband, will keep them up late if I'm running late just to... And often I'll just lie on the bed and talk to them for 10 minutes, mm. like the three of us, or, you know, I just try and steal some sort of time with them. Um, but yeah, I hate not seeing them, so... I think, I think that's really refreshing to hear, because basically what, what I hear you saying is that to be a good athlete, you have to have that element of balance. Mm -hmm. and, and and people may think that you have to be 100% full on focused on one pursuit to be good at that. But what I hear you saying is that if the other bits of your life aren't lined up and in a row, mm -hmm. if those dominoes aren't in place, then your exercise starts to collapse yeah. as well. Like before the games, I think last year, oh no, the first year I did the game, so two years ago, I we didn't have an au pair. And I had, but I did have someone picking them up from school and I was working heaps and heaps because that was during the time my husband wasn't working that much. And so I would train every night. So I'd train be here till 7.30, sometimes 8, get home at 8.30. And honestly, oh, I used to get home and I'd be like, I'm such a bad mum. Like, yeah. I don't like this. I'd resent being here. I'd just be like looking at the clock because I just want to leave. And yeah, for me, it's just like... It's important that yeah. I spend the time, so it's like, yeah, it's probably one of the most important things. And if I have to sacrifice a bit of recovery or something crossfitty for it, then yeah. that's just the way it goes. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that a happy athlete is a good athlete, and it's very hard to be a good athlete if you're yeah, not happy. I think so. so I think I, would res I personally would resent doing crossfit, so mm. there's no point in me doing it if I'm not happy. Yeah, like I only do it to make me happy, so. See, I, I think we would gladly sacrifice 10% of your training, even though you may not develop as much physically to spend that time with your family, because you'll more than make up for that 10%. Yeah. It'll be a net gain there. And like this year, I've changed it and worked less. And I mean, first six months after games, I hardly worked. And I, in all honesty, I have never felt so happy in my life because I could drop the girls every single day, pick them up every day. I trained in the day, had the whole evening with them. And yeah. yeah. It's I'm important. a little bit like that still, but not quite as much. Yeah. Semi-retired.